Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're moving on to part four of our series, How to Have Your Best Year Teaching Math. And we're talking about how to assess math skills. Why do you need to assess your students' math skills? To find out what your students know about grade level math concepts. Do they need to review multiplication, practice division, can they even add decimals correctly? There are many math skills we assume students come into the grade level with, but sometimes that's not the case. When it comes to math assessments, what is the best way to assess your students' math skills? Choose an assessment that includes everything they should know that's important from the last grade. Kids aren't always prepared for the next grade level at the beginning of the school year. Students are expected to know certain skills at the beginning of every school year. When your students aren't prepared for the beginning of the school year, it can be difficult. It's not just a problem for students, but also for teachers everywhere. Students lose learning gains during the summer months due to school closures. Find out what they know about math and find out what they don't know about math yet. Instead of worrying about what students need to know, let's look at what they don't. Giving your students a diagnostic test is a great way to see what they don't know yet. It's also good to find out what they do know. Diagnostic tests are helpful to gauge your students' learning at the beginning of the school year. You can make a plan from the results of the diagnostic test. Gina, a sixth grade math teacher, used a diagnostic test with her students. She said, I use this diagnostic test with my entire sixth grade. They were missing specific skills and I wanted to see exactly where they needed specific instruction. This was a great resource. What could a math diagnostic test do for your instruction? Pinpoint what specific skills your students need now. Plan for future instruction with the results from the math diagnostic test. There is a solution to the problem of finding out what your students know. Give them a math diagnostic test. You can plan for a successful school year knowing you have a plan in place. You can have higher math scores when you plan for success now. This is just an example of grade level math scores at the beginning, middle, and end of the school year. You have two options. You can option one, make no plan. Choosing to make no plan is a choice. You are planning to not seek different results. Or two, you could choose option two, which is making a plan for success. Choosing to make a plan for success is a choice to help your students. You are planning to seek better results for them and further their success in mathematics. If you're ready for option two, making a plan for success, after your students have taken the math diagnostic test, the results will need to be recorded. Do you gather the data on a spreadsheet or review test scores to see if there are common missed questions? The free data tool tracker is the perfect place to record all the test scores for your students. The Excel formulas and formatting are already done for you. You can access your personal copy of the print and digital version today. This will jumpstart your math success for the school year. For more information about any of these math assessments, be sure to check out the Teaching Math and More shop. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. See you next week for part five, the final video of our series, how to have your best year teaching math.